Yes. Like I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Hagen Dazs ice cream. They're like, I'm so fat. And like they won't work out, they won't change their diet, they won't drink more water, they won't whatever. But they're complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm like, well, you're always going to be in this victimized state because you're literally not doing any you're not being self-aware you're not even looking at your own reflection saying okay what can i do to change things about myself yo what's happening what's going on everybody what's good what is good everyone in the youtube land how y'all feeling tonight lockout man back again with another reaction video thank you thank you thank you thank you and we're going to start our journey off with the videos that we're going to react to today and in the in the coming future you know we're going to be reacting to TikTok videos, and this is going to be volume one. So, of course, TikTok, man, a different type of beast. You got you, you, you got a gang of different, <laughs> you got different species on, on, on that platform over there, man. A lot, of, a lot of YouTubers that was doing content for YouTube is now doing content for TikTok. Some YouTubers that was on YouTube that wasn't that was just finding like moderate success with uh with YouTube found major success with TikTok. Now some say TikTok is like it's it's easier to to generate uh views, it's easier to generate follows. It's easier to generate lights. Well, I, I tend to agree with that. Shout out to uh, Samsung for the Z Fold. This phone right here is a beast. That's all I gotta say. Let's let's go to TikTok right quick, man. Here it is. Here it is. Lockout Men podcast, and I, and I'm only now I'm only three hundred away. For 300 more followers so I can go uh, live on TikTok right here. Again, shout out to the Z uh, Samsung for the Z Fold 3. If you guys have, have not picked up this phone yet, I suggest that you guys pick up this phone. I mean, if you if you one of those people that likes to have a tablet and a phone at the same time, this right here is the truth all right so you don't have to have a mini a, a separate tablet and then your separate phone you got it both right here i'm just saying so hook a brother up man hook, hook a brother up all right yo get me to a thousand subscribers uh, a thousand followers so i can go ahead and go live and bring lockout men podcast to you guys on tiktok so right now I'm up to like 2,000 likes uh, and uh, close to 700, I mean 700 followers, man. The videos, I mean, they get, they get views like crazy. Like I, I uploaded one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I uploaded eight videos yesterday to TikTok. And all of them so far, so far it's at 500 views a P. TikTok, man. I mean, I, I fucks with TikTok. So thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate the follows. Follow me on TikTok. I will definitely send you a message thanking you for, follow, for the follow. And I will return the favor by following back. Um, it's only a matter of time. I, I, I give TikTok to like next year. It's only going to be a matter of time where you can upload a video f uh, for as long as 30 minutes on, on TikTok. We're going to go ahead and jump into this volumes of TikTok reactions. And this reactions is to Khloe Kardashian. 
Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Chloe Kardashian. Uh, they consider Chloe Kardashian the black sheep of the family. <laughs> we we got we we know Kim, and then we we know the other unknown, which is Courtney. All right, the three Ks. We we know the Kardashians. We we know the father Robert. May he rest in peace. He was the lead attorney for the OJ trial, right? And then, you know, of course he passed. And then there was nothing else for the family Kardashians until Ray J helped in making Kim Kardashian what she is today. So she took her porno tape, made millions of dollars, and then just made her family famous from that. We did not know nothing about, we know Chris, the moms, the matriarch, the head of the brand, had went and got her name changed from Jenner to Kardashian so that she can continue the brand. And what happened to Bruce, the Olympic superstar? Well, he's manifested into a woman. And then the Kardashian clan just got big from there. Kim, Kim, a lot of businesses, a lot of stuff, you know, a, a lot of stuff. Kanye, uh, the other basketball player, uh, the football player, you know, Kim, Ray J, you know what I'm saying? But Chloe, though, where, what she's known for? I mean, let's be honest. If it wasn't for Kim Kardashian, then Chloe wouldn't even been in the picture. And then, of course, her other sister, uh, Courtney, don't know much about her. <laughs> but Chloe, she's in the picture, you know. She dated a few basketball players, you know, that little that little stint with uh, Lamar. Uh, I forgot his last name, but he played with the Lakers, and they had their own little thing. And, of course, she brought her looks, you know, went to the, went to the doctor, got cosmetic surgery, went to the doctor, had everything vacuumed out, you know. But she's in this particular viral video now. Over here talking about fat shaming. Well, you know, I I think uh, I you know people sitting there eating Hagen Dazs ice cream and and not working out. And I just don't like people like that. But you didn't do it, huh? Let's get into the videos. <laughs> I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like hog and dust ice cream. Like I'm so fat. I know Miss Bada by Mattel is not talking. Sweetheart, you are made in China. You are manufactured. You My girl says she's made in China. <laughs> Are you serious? She did, and she said her body is by Mattel. You know, Mattel made the Kim dolls. The Kim? Oh my god. Why do I got Kim on the mind? I mean, the Barbie dolls and the Ken dolls. <laughs> Got more plastic in you than the ocean does currently. No, ma'am. Humble thyself and remember where thyself came from. What journey did you go on other than to the plastic surgeon? Don't do that. Absolutely do not do that. Get your life together. This video was not it. Like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, Hagen dazs ice cream. Like, I'm so fat. And, like, they won't work out. I know, miss. I bought my body, but I'm going to pretend like I got it through working out and talking. I know that Chloe struggles with body images, but this video, this, like, thing ain't it. Because the fact that you struggled and you can't understand why other people struggle is just beyond me. And then on top of that, you, you and your family created this standard that has allow people to feel this way exactly exactly 
you know, Kim with the with 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 the ass that claims that she didn't get no butt injections, and she of course on the show went to the doctor to prove that she didn't have ass injections. But then you know they could have probably still fudged that because she probably could have got ass injections after you know doing the show. But they made the standard though. They made the standard. They had to be pretty. They had to be it. They had to be, you know, the the the, the Barbie doll look. To feel insecure about their body type. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, she literally says, oh, you won't change this then the third. And you're going to continue to be in this victimized state, right? And it's just like, there's so many other factors that contribute to why someone can't lose weight. And for you to sit there and downplay that and then also downplay the way that your family has con contributed to the way people view themselves today. Yeah, yeah, you're wrong for that. I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like haagen ice cream. Like I'm so fat. So here's the thing. Not all of us can afford a personal chef to cook us meals, to cook the right, right amount to count nutrients and calories and all that other shit that you have. Um, we can't afford to get our tummies lipoed. Uh, we can't afford to ha have that fat be distributed throughout our body, especially our butts. Exactly. I can't afford that shit. But of course, with Kim Kardashian helping to make the way of the popularity that she did for you guys, y'all can do it now. Y'all can y'all y'all didn't have the money back then. You know, and hey, you, you, Kim Kardashian, I mean, not Kim, but Chloe, you, man, come on. You the, you the wrong person to be trying to, to fat shame somebody. I'm just saying. Um, and honestly, I'd rather look the way I look than be fake like you. You're fake and it's disgusting. Mm. And if you didn't have all that surgery, if you didn't have all that money, you'd be like the rest of us. Mm. OJ like I'm not black I'm OJ okay I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Hagen dazs ice cream like I'm so fat that TikTok was brought to you by Ben and Jerry's ice cream try our new flavor Chloe Kardashian's cookie crunch stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Hagen dazs ice cream like I'm so fat and like they won't work out they won't change their diet they won't drink more water like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, Hagen dazs ice cream. Like, I'm so fat. And, like, they won't work out. They won't change their diet. They won't drink more water. They won't what Like, I can't stand people who complain about hating fat people, despite the fact that they would be one themselves if their sister hadn't released a sex tape that made their whole family rich and famous. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's it in a nutshell. You will still be, you know, where you, you know, kind of had to wait. You you will still have to wait, Chloe, if it wasn't for your sister, Kim. Wow. She allowed them to pay for their liposuction and plastic surgery, which is the only reason that they got skinny. So fat. And, like, they won't work out. They won't change their diet. They won't drink more water. They Who's they? Who's they that won't drink water or won't work out or won't get up and go to the gym? Would that be us, Chloe? Are you talking about us ordinary people? It can't possibly be all the people, you know, in your life. I mean, everybody in your life. I mean, we grew up with you. We kind of saw you, you know, grow from the little fat girl that you were to now the very insecure woman. Mm -hmm. Man insecure woman what do you guys think about that leave your thoughts in the comments below you are where you feel like you can just go ahead and let everybody know that you're better than them because you are able to get plastic surgery and we aren't i don't know i'm just thinking that this is getting out of hand now and you need to start being a little more careful on how you speak good publicity bad publicity i know it doesn't matter to you like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, Hagen dazs ice cream. Like, I'm so fat. And, like, they won't work out. They won't change their diet. They won't drink more water. They won't whatever. But they're complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm like, well, you're always going to be in this victimized 
state because you're literally not doing any you're not being self-aware you're wow <laughs> you're not being self-aware fat person you know you you're going to stay in this victimized state because you're not aware of the part that you're fat i, I you know i understand that people know that they're that that they're fat chloe i'm i'm fat you know, 250 pounds, six, six foot one, got a gut, a beer gut. It, 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 I don't even consider this a beer gut. I, I consider this a pop gut. You know, I, I drunk a lot of sodas back in the day. I mean, I was cut. You know, I had to, uh, you know, I was diesel at one point. But wow, victimized state because because they 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 can't afford to do what you done to get where you're at now everything about you is paid for not even looking at your own reflection saying okay what can i do to change things about myself it's yeah. everybody else's fault all right so today on celebrities that are entitled you were rich you were born rich you changed your entire look with money you got skinny with money you got everything you have with money your face is completely different because you have money yes and lots of money by that and she didn't even work for it wait for it wait for it who who who, who managed to 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 bring her fame and fortune her sister kim i'm just saying don't preach that luxury on other people. We are normal individuals that don't have that money. We don't have that luxury. I have tried for years to lose weight. I have a medical problem, a health problem that you probably know nothing about because you have the money to not care. You have the ability to take care of yourself completely no matter what. So don't sit here and judge normal people. You are not a normal person. You're not. You're a piece of shit. And my respect for you went from like maybe middle to like way down here. Damn people that are like eating a bucket of like hog and dos ice cream. Like I'm so fat. Not the same Chloe Kardashian that cried over an unedited, unfiltered pic of her surfacing on the internet. Yep. The same one. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm I'm sure if everybody had the same plastic surgeons as you, same personal trainers, same home gyms and um private chefs, no one would be crying into any hot first of all, people don't even cry into Hagen Dazs ice cream and complain about being fat Do people cry in ice cream period? I mean I you know, I dip and dab in some ice cream. I'm not supposed to, but I, I I don't cry in it, ladies. In the in the comments below, do you cry in your ice cream when you eat it? Let let me know. Is, is there is there a protocol to cry in the ice cream? Let me know. The irony in this is just it's. I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Haagen Dazs ice cream. Like I'm so fat. So this keeps coming up on my for you page. So like I wanna I wanna address it. Um, cause I was, I was actually thinking about this the other day and like one of the things that occurred to me is that you should never just tell yourself I'm fat or tell other people I'm fat or you're fat because you're not only fat, like you have fat, but you also have muscle and skin and bone and organs and a brain and a voice. Do you guys have any idea? what this lady is talking about you know like you're a whole ass person fat is just a part of you you know second of all we really need to think about what is fat what is it fat is energy fat is energy come on art what what, what are you the the tiktok doctor over here that is how your body stores energy to be used at a later time. It's like, it's a battery on your body. A battery on your body. So I guess ladies, 
you know, if you, if you, if you the big thick women out there, you know, that's doing the damn thing, y'all don't have to worry about nothing. Your fat is like a battery. It keeps you moving like the Energizer Bunny. So then you have to ask yourself, why is my body not using my natural energy? Yeah. yeah. Why, why isn't my body using the natural energy? Why, why don't you tell me? The conclusion that I came to was that if I am giving my body another source of energy, like a false energy, like caffeine, coffee, Coke, Pepsi, you know, some, a lot of teas, most. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm following you. Coke, Pepsi, energy, uh, caffeine. I, I got you. I'm following you. All right. Speak on it. Teas have caffeine. If you're not drinking herbal tea, most likely your tea has caffeine in it. Mm. So if it's not herbal tea, then all other teas that I've been drinking, which is unsweetened, got caffeine in it. Okay. And if you're giving your your body that energy, it doesn't it can't store that energy away for later. So it just takes the energy from the food that you eat. Get shot for bringing this up, but don't you think you'd lose lose a few pounds? Wow, that's old school Bruce Jenner before the change. Wow, and and look at look at Khloe Kardashian back in the day. Man, you don't look nothing like what you look like today. We should do a side by side. Because you don't look nothing like that. You know, the full figure face, the full body, even your own stepfather before he made the transition even came to you like, yo, do you think you uh, think you could lose a couple of pounds there? You know, I might get shot for this. What? Well, and, looking at, and looking in my eyes, she just staring daggers at that boy. Don't you think you should lose a few pounds? Like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, hog and dos ice cream. Like, I'm so f I really wish that I could find Doc and Marty, jump in that DeLorean, go back in time, save Nicole and that waiter from O.J. Simpson so nobody would know what a fucking Kardashian is. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. This dude, like, yo, let me find Dark and Marty so I can jump back in time and save uh, <laughs> Nicole Simpson and the waiter. Wow, bro. Chloe, seriously, you want to fat shame people? Really? When you were the big one? Girl, please. You are manufactured. Stop making stupid people famous. Let's ask the Magic 8 Ball what you should do. Stand people that are like eating a bucket of like hog and dos ice cream. Like, I'm so fat, and like they won't work out. I don't know why people are so pressed on this video. People are so pressed about this video because very much the messenger matters. You cannot sit on this app and sit there and have a BBL and have weight loss surgery and all of these things that she did, and then be like, oh, you know, you can lose weight by or people who da da da. Literally, she did not do the things that she's talking about to lose weight. And that's triggering everybody. So yeah, yeah. I, I think I think a few people is gonna have a problem with that. She sat there, she got surgery, she altered, she used her money to do it. A lot of the times what happens with former fat people is they sit there, they lose the weight by whatever means they lose it by, and then they get on these apps or they do interviews and they shit on people who are still fat and be like, Well, you could just do this X, Y, and Z and it's like, you didn't do it. Exactly. And, and you know, no, no shots fired. God damn it, stop that! No shots fired, you know, to, to anybody that did go that route. You know, I just got finished talking to uh, a female driver and her weight loss journey. You know, she, uh, she struggled with her weight and then she finally pulled the trigger on going across to Mexico to get the weight loss surgery. There's plenty of female drivers that has done this already. Uh, I, I, I spoke to 
um, Pink Barbie, I mean, Pink Baby Doll, better known as Hey Pink. And she spoke to me about her journey to weight loss and what she did to go across the way to Mexico to get the surgery. So no shots fired to them. They're not on social media shaming anybody. You know, hey, you know, you're still fat. You know, maybe, you know, maybe you should do this and maybe you should do that. They're humble about, you know, they're humble. They're there. They're there for support. And that's what they need to be. So you have no room to speak. That's why people are so pressed. The messenger very much matters. Sis, she had to sit, the, she should have sit this one out. She should have sat this one out. Like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, hog and dust ice cream. Like, I'm so f Chloe, sweetie, like, you accept a man that cheated on you two times already. Like, why should I take advice from you? Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. Lamar and, and what's the other guy's name? Tristan? Yeah, they both cheated on her. She lost the weight. You know what? Look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She lost the weight to 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 look like she look right now. And not one, but two guys cheated on her. The other guy damn near lost his life at the bunny ranch. Just saying. So yeah, why should people take advice from you? I mean, yeah, why? Like I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like hog and dust ice cream. Like I'm so f Chloe, sweetie, like you accept a man that cheated on you two times already. Like, why should I take advice from you? Damn, people are really butthurt. The negative comments are finally coming in. And yeah, it would seem like I'm her bully and stuff, but I mean, am I let, let me just put on my glasses right quick so I can turn into this educated female. Give me a second. Am I really her bully? Or is she everybody else's bully? You never know. Hmm. But I do know that bitch gets violent on TV. Um, and she been working out. And she fat shames people. Remember when she called Jordan Woods a fat pig for her boyfriend who she's now fucking again? Kissing Jordy Woods at a party with tongue. And then the red table talk. Like, can we not remember? There's like a gif about Chloe going... <laughs> Like, I can't stand people that are, like, eating a bucket of, like, haagen dazs ice cream. Like, I'm so fat. I've never followed you, never kept up with your life, seen photos of your family members. So you're saying that you were disgusted by your brother? The oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Her brother, Rob Kardashian. We, we forgot about them. I mean, he's, he's a big guy. He's, he's, why are you not fat shaming him? You know? And not only that, he also got played by black, I mean, by black China. You know? She has a baby by him. So now he's, you know, she's, she's pretty much set. This is coming off very fat phobic because you're really generalizing a very large population of this country. And again, I don't think it's getting through people's heads that not all big people are big because they're stuffing their faces. Are some doing that? Absolutely. And I hope they deal with their issues and can live a healthier life, whether that's staying big and being healthy or losing the weight. But there's also so many different factors, medications, genetic disorders, and why people are overweight people that are like eating a bucket of like hog and dust ice cream like i'm so fat chloe you lost weight because you got it vacuumed out <laughs> they deleted this dude's account because of his comment then you got it pumped back into your ass so you could be like your sister who's way more famous than you because you were way jealous of it and you know what all of your sisters did the same thing when they started gaining weight they sucked it out of their fucking stomach and pumped it in their ass 
So what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucked it out of the stomach and put it in all y'all asses. Wow. You didn't get off your ass and do anything. You took a couple of fucking Instagram pictures, heavily filtered them, and then put them online to make little girls feel like shit. And now you're talking about fat people saying that they're not doing anything when they have to fucking go through life and deal with people like you saying shit like that? Mm. The fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you get the fuck up off your ass? Go actually do some real work and earn some actual money. Which I don't think she believes in that you know her 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 version of work is getting up taking about 50 million instagram pictures and then you know a couple of couple of videos a couple of phone calls you know and that's about it and then go check on the check on the store or whatever the case may be and that's about it yeah that that's that's her version of work bro instead of i don't know posting shit online and getting paid for it. I can hear your heartbeat. Oh my God, it's Satan. Chris Jenner. Hi, Satan. Hi, Chloe. Can I have a little chat with you about Quick Trip? Yeah. I just think that the way that you're presenting yourself in the media lately is a little off base, and I really feel like you and I need to have a chat about what you're doing to the brand. Wow. Y'all hear that? It's her, it, we, we need to sit down because of your weight, and we need to talk about what you're doing to the brand. Not and not even not not even consoling her or anything like that. Her mom just came right off the rip and like, yo, this is what you're doing to the brand, man. The brand is more important. This is what you're doing to it. What are you trying to say exactly? I'm trying to say that I feel like you could not chat about how many cookies you're eating in between meals. To tell me that I'm ruining an entire brand because of my weight gain, like that makes me feel like get over yourself. You're such a raging lunatic and you're so evil are you wow chloe need to go back and re-watch this video right here because the same shit that your mom telling you is the same shit that you trying to push push off on anybody else but failing to realize that you was being shamed also and now that you went and paid for all of your cosmetic surgery all of your uh uh weight loss surgery and all like that now you feel entitled to come on and 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 say that yo i i you know i i feel that they're being victimized because they're victims or being victimized because they're not taking the time to do what they need to do to get where i'm at we can't afford it that's why Trying to say that I'm fat and I'm up your. Yeah, that's exactly what her what her moms are saying. That you're fat and you're messing up the brand. It's not exactly in those words, Chloe. Mom, what the? Honestly, I'm too fat all the time. I'm too this. I'm too that. So what? Do you want me to get pregnant? Do you want me to lose weight? So mean and it's hurtful. So sorry that I'm ruining your precious little brand, Mom. I'm so sorry. I'll just go become bulimic and anorexic. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. And on that note, if you guys like this video, definitely leave a like. It helps the channel. It's supposed to help the channel. Again, I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. It's hashtag fuck YouTube. But uh, but yeah, Chloe. Mm. What do you guys think, man? Leave your comments in the comments below. Man, Chloe Kardashian coming with the coming with the venomous. I'm so fat. I'm so fat. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Well. Follow me on TikTok. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram. You guys take it easy. I am Lockout Man, and I will come back at you with another reaction video.
Peace. Like, I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Hagen Dazs ice cream. They're like, I'm so fat. And like, they won't work out. I'm so fat. They won't change their diet. I'm so fat. They won't drink more water. I'm so fat. They won't whatever. I'm so fat. But they're complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm so fat. And I'm like, well, you're always going to be in this victimized state. I'm so fat. Because you're literally not doing any, you're not being self-aware. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, so you're not even looking at your own reflection saying, okay, what can I do? I'm so fat to change things about myself. 